Hello folks, this video is about how to change your temporary directory FME Workbench Writes To on Windows 10. You may be thinking of changing your temporary directory FME Writes To to another drive that has more space or a solid state drive for better performance. So I'm going to walk you through the steps to do just this. Now if you're not even sure where your temporary path is being set in FME, when you run a Workbench in the translation log it will tell you where it got the temporary location from where it says temporary folder is this and is being set from the environment variable temp. Okay, cool. Now, how did FME Workbench decide this was the temporary location? So it first searches for the environment variable FME underscore temp. If that doesn't exist, it searches for an environment variable called TEMP. In my case, my temp environment variable existed already, so it picked that directory. Now, if we didn't have this environment variable either, then Workbench will select a folder called slash temp on the drive FME is running from. And if that doesn't exist either, then it looks for a folder called slash temp on the drive FME is running as well. Okay, so I want to override this temp variable that FME is using. So to do that, I'm going to create a new user variable called FME underscore temp, and I'm going to assign it to the folder B program files FME underscore temp. Now we're going to relaunch FME Workbench. Now if we check the folder location and environment variable in FME Workbench, we will now see that it's actually coming from that new variable we set up. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe for more tips and tricks with FME. See you next time.